So we're up again at a nearly hour today. It does occur to me that whenever I travel I'm always up at some ridiculously dark hour. This was my final goodbye to Alexandra and I was doing it in the dark while we petrolled up the car. And then we're on the road to Montreuca. We stopped for breakfast in a township called Palmerston. It's pretty small, however at the dairy there was a large amount of hot food items, you know, to choose from. I got a steak and onion pie. Ah, oh, kiwi life. I'm not going to travel as we pass a place called Shag Point, where it's been affectionately named that after certain actions, or whether it's a place where shag birds gather together, I don't know, but you know, the name's funny, so. It just began to rain and we passed a giant chicken topiary with an egg, clearly gardeners of skill live here. We stopped off in a town called Omru and went to a lolly shop called Rainbows. I know what you're thinking, no they don't just sell lollipops guys, in New Zealand they call all forms of sweet lollies, so you know, we got two bags. We then passed through a town called Waimati with, it has a white horse in the hill. Apparently there's something in the water in Waimati, I, I, I don't know, it's just something people say. Don't drink the water there guys. We next stopped in Timaru where I found a shop with an assortment of knickknacks and a fried egg spatula. Oh my goodness, it took such a lot of restraint not to buy it. However, the journey must go on and as it went on it started to rain. I'm not likely at that. We did make a small pitch stop you know, for cookies because cookies are good. A bag of broken cookie seconds is so much better. Along the way we passed through the centre of Christchurch and well, there's not really much I can say. The damage done by the earthquake just speaks for itself and I can't help but send my thoughts and best wishes to everyone who was there or was affected by it. Yeah, thinking of you guys. We're back on the road, there was a slight delay as we found ourselves in amongst the flock of sheep. My shepherding came to no avail. Though it doesn't really look like this guy was the best shepherd in the world. Of course, we had to stop to see the seals because the seals are cute and they were just lying there, so you know, why not make use of their present and stuff? Surprisingly, I ran into more vineyards as you approach Montreuca, officially known as Mott. Though these were done like big little ones I've been working on, so I'm pretty glad that I wasn't going to wear working there, if I'm honest with you. And there it was, the sea. Again, the sea came and decided to pull it to Nelson, and because of it, I live inland, you know, the sea is always really exciting to see. Plus, it reminds me of turnouts. Eventually, we arrived at our destination, the town of Mochueca. On first inspection, it was bigger than Alex, which made me, like, intensely happy, and it bore no resemblance to Radiator Springs at all, which is great. So, we set off in search of somewhere to park up for the night, because, in case I haven't mentioned before, we're staying in the car because, you know, we don't have anywhere to sleep but an earbud. Not quite as comfortable as you'd think, guys. <laughs> See you soon.